Yeah, so my answer is going to be the same. <laughs> I, I'm going to say um, I think Navi will win, and I think Markolov will be the MVP. So uh, w- this yeah. will be way harder than the previous. Well, game, this though. is going to be where we're going to see if Markolov is actually, uh, you know, it's not just a case of poning UK noobs. Now he's going to have to play an established European team uh, with quite good pedigree, and the game is going to go live. And so it starts uh, from three three, actually. Yeah, you're right. So it's gone from three three. I guess the last two rounds that happened with all the technical issues, um, and it's three three with uh, with money in the bank as well. So. We're not going to have a pistol round, we're not going to have a knife. This game is continuing from where it left off from those who persevered back at the moment in time. And uh, Starix is going to get first blood in this round. Looks like that's a Molotov going down as well, so they must have money to burn. No pun intended. Uh, if they're going to use a Molotov, hasn't that been nerfed to the point where it's almost useless? Uh, it only slows people down, it doesn't do a lot of damage. But um, end faculty spread out across the map just looking to see where they can get an advantage and you can see they managed to get outside Starix was so so busy focusing on main where they already had a player looking that it's enabled them to get some nades in on him Kirby's going to get the kill there and uh, you can see as well that uh, they're trading here Kirby oh well no it's not going to happen in the end Na'Vi do indeed shut them out and uh, Markolov uh, having to get his pistol out to uh, to make it count but uh, it was a very disjointed end faculty push it didn't seem to have any coherence yeah. they w- they weren't working as a unit that's actually kind of a usual situation on train i mean both in cs source and 1.6 like mm. you throw a lot of grenades out on yard the terrorists rush out and then like at the same time everybody starts to see again and you're just both <laughs> team are spread out yeah. and nobody has no idea what's going on and like trades back and forth well, you can see Starix again. <laughs> he likes to open the round with a nade, does Starix. He loves a good nade. It is just an eco round. Starix is going to get his spray on as well. But the bomb has been planted again. He just doesn't seem to have any peripheral vision. He's <laughs> like, you can sneak up on him anytime. Like, yeah. Just get behind him. Yeah, and he manages e- to get a plant right in front of him. Yeah, great echo there from <laughs> Falcon to mentioning to get the plant down. I mean, uh, it's kind of underrated to have like a good plan on even a Glock eco. Like, mm. okay, we buy one smoke, we might get the bomb down as they did l- right now, and they just bought themselves. Uh, how much is it? Four thousand more dollars. In uh, in teams, was there ever uh, like that you played in? Was there ever sort of a designated planter, someone that was good at making sneaky plants? Uh, yeah, <laughs> well, the guy named uh, Nico who always did that, and he like managed to do it in like the most stupid <laughs> ways, like. I still feel it's al- always the, like the opponents playing bad if yeah. you let them play plant the bomb. Well, uh, that's what we saw there, but uh, this is looking like a very good round for end faculty. They've played themselves into a three uh, and two advantage, but Starix is wrapping around behind him, coming down from the white walls. He's going to get a kill, make it a 2v2. And uh, apparently I'm not allowed to call him C9 anymore. And that was a great, I know, great turn on. Um, apparently I'm supposed to call him Selner. Selner? Yeah, uh, Senya. Senya. Senya, sorry. Okay, yeah. well, there you go. Every, every cast I've listened to, they've called him C9 as well. C9. Uh, yeah. And how do you even I get Selnia from that? S- S- Big, I don't know. They say it, so I guess it's right. Well, it must be, uh, it's C9. I mean, yes, come on, Senya. guys. Like, you know, it's a bit of a stretch, but all right, Selnia. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll try I'll try and it's edu- Russian. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I was, yeah. was going to say like <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, maybe if I have a few vodkas, I'll be saying it like that anyway. So, but uh, end faculty there uh, managed to play themselves into a very good position. And what just happened there? Disruptor what? was so depressed. That <laughs> <laughs> uh, what is going on? This is like. Nothing I've seen in a tournament. Double suicides coming in. Yeah. Guys, the situation isn't that bad. You can still win this <laughs> game. Like, you know. Like, all of you watching this, if you want to train on how to push <laughs> the inner side, watch this round and do nothing like that. <laughs> yeah, do you like. absolutely know? They're like, what happened? Like, uh, did you seriously see why yeah, both they of them actually died? threw on um, HE, like, damage. There were two guys with, like, 20 HP, and then they got blind and, like, panicked. Both <laughs> jumped down and both died. So it's well, I mean, it makes me feel like a jackass. I've just been telling, this is a proven international team. And then it's like, you know, <laughs> here comes here comes the clowns. Um, but anyway, they've got a, an eco coming in. So I think we're actually going to see 8-3 here to uh, Na'Vi, which you know is probably expected given the map uh, and given everything else. But, um, oh no, it, it's not an eco. They have bought. So uh, I will hold my tongue, push my mouth, and uh, sell you. Is uh, spamming away. You see, I've got it. He's spamming away at the side, uh, just doing some damage to QK Mantis. And uh, 
It'll be interesting to see if N Faculty are going to try and change the pace of this because one thing CRG did, and they actually had some joy, was when they at went aggressive, they threw some smokes down and just pushed very fast through them. And Faculty are not committing to that. They don't feel comfortable playing like this. And this was one of the criticisms we've had about them in the past, is that sometimes they do play incredibly slow. They overthink rounds. They don't leave themselves with enough time to react. And when they get into a position, they can't counteract what their opponents are doing. Yeah, so. absolutely. And uh, in their defense, there it is kind of on train. It's kind of important to have good spawns mm. when you go for a fast outer push. So uh, maybe they had bad spawns this round, which basically forced them to play a slow round. Well, Kirby, who uh, came under some flack from some of the other people in the German scene, he's picked up two good kills there. But uh, Navi not breaking a sweat, and in the end, Markolov's going to end the round with a kill on Disruptor. That is going to be eight to three, as you predicted. We'll take a quick look at the uh, frag charts, and of course, these don't include the six previous rounds which were uh, cruelly taken from the scoreboard due to some delays you can see we got a, a six on uh, six for six uh for edward and kirby is on nine for nine so uh, he's looking pretty good but uh, not having a lot of joy for end faculty they've not got a round since the restart the three rounds they've got on the board of course happened back when everyone was having those difficulties Perhaps it was a psychological factor, I'll, I'll ask you this, uh, that Na'Vi, you know, now that they've played that game and got settled, uh, and now they're playing at end faculty, do you think Na'Vi have a slight advantage? Absolutely. I mean, the first game in an even a new game like mm. CSGO, I mean, uh, you always want to get that first game out of the way so you feel more comfortable, and uh, that's what they did with the CRG game. So. Uh, it's kind of unfair for N faculty, uh, to N faculty, I would say. Well, uh, we're gonna, uh, we've are gonna. we actually got our analysis team back there. Uh, they're eagerly watching this game. I've heard some girlish giggles coming from across the other side of the studio, so that must be War Clown, probably, is when the, the suicides happen. Uh, so we're going to be bringing you some pretty in-depth analysis of this game when it ends. But uh, for now, Na'Vi in absolute control. And even though N faculty have got this plan in, they're just making it look so, so easy on the rotate, able to uh, get the defuse, no problem. It's going to be 9-3. to three. And at the moment, it's hard to see what N Faculty could do to really change the momentum of this game. Uh, do you? Yeah. Is there anything you've noticed? Do you think N Faculty could do something now to, to alter what looks to be a, a destined 16-3 win for Na'Vi? Uh, I think they should do, as you said, like try to go for an outer fast push. I mean, uh, those rounds can be so fast and you can get, like, Two of them straight in a row, it uh, can change the momentum of the game. Well, they went fast and Kirby got absolutely destroyed, but uh, Selnia just put, got a bit aggressive on side, pushed through a smoke, and uh, found that SMM was uh, waiting for him. But uh, Zeus is going to push White Walls and get two kills of his own, and right now, N Faculty just do not look in the game at all. Na'Vi looking very like warm. I mean, they just their aim is just so crisp. They're looking so uh, so well drilled, and uh, that's not what you want when you have to play them. You need them to be disrupted, yeah. again, to do a play on words. <laughs> I think they actually should save their weapon rights now, since they have all grenades and everything. Yep. Doesn't really make sense to push. They will get a lot of them on the next round that they can buy. Uh, and well, keep the grenades. they're going for it, and faculty do not do a lot of saves. And oh, well, that was oh. a great reaction shot there from SMN. As soon as he got hit in the side, he just turned around, instant headshot, turns the round on its head. They are going to get this plant now. But uh, Markolov's going to be rotating. Look how fast Starix has gone behind him. We've seen him do this once before. He is going to get that kill. He's going to leave it all to do for SMN. He's just going to be getting absolute gun from left, right, and center. Does get another kill. Edward, in the end, though, is going to get up on that train, use the height advantage to win the round. And it's going to be another defuse. And that is going to make it 10 rounds to three in favor of Na'Vi, who are just really looking very, very good right now. Yeah, and uh, as you said earlier, I really think this pause has, d has a lot to do with it. I mean, it, it feels like it's a completely different game from what we saw earlier today. Yeah, yeah well, I, I don't know if it's a case of Na'Vi have got kind of the, the jitters out, out of their system by having a nice, easy game against CRG. I don't know if, uh, I mean, uh, as it stands, CRG did better than N Faculty by this point. Yeah, that's actually true. You know, so I mean, perhaps we, we need to give them, I don't know whether we need to give the UK team more respect or the German team less respect, I don't really know, but certainly it looks like Na'Vi are benefiting from playing back-to-back -back the same map 
you know, a decent standard of opposition, but nothing too challenging. And they're really just looking comfortable. I mean, it's like watching them play 1.6 at the moment. Yeah, absolutely. It's, uh, they actually use the same players at the same position as they yeah. did in 1.6, proving that they feel comfortable in this game as well. So, 10 to 3. And faculty have got another inner plant, but Navi just on the rotate. And faculty have got that man advantage, though. This should be around for end faculty. It's looking very good now. Asmo and Kirby getting the kills. So it's all on Markolov. I think he'll just go for a save here. Will he? Or no, he's going to try. He's going to get one. And in the end, Asmo is going to get Markolov. So it is going to be 10 4. Last round of the half incoming. Um, do you think. I mean. Is there a lot of importance on the fifth round? I mean, uh, is it something that, you know? Not really. I yeah. think a 10 5 and 11 4 score on terrain feels the same. Yeah. It's kind of weird, but uh, like going from 10, six, 10 5 to 9 6, that's a much bigger step. Well, uh, yeah, because it's effectively, it, it's too, you know, you've got that luxury where you, you win the pistol. You win yeah. the two ecos that gets you halfway home to a draw. Yeah. Then you've got to just worry about buy rounds, and of course, if you can force your team to eco again, yeah. Then you've only got one more round to get. So, uh, and while I'm just talking about the, the mechanics of the game, Starix just working uh, a great little headshot there, and uh, <laughs> Zeus just doesn't care. He's just going aggressive and just having a little spray on up. But he's going to get SMN. Asmo's going to answer back, but Markalov just super fast orping from him takes down Kirby. Asmo's going to go in for the plan. He's very low HP. If any of these nades come in and hit him, it's going to not end well. And yeah, Markolov goes for total overkill. Just runs into that upper area and just destroys him. Edward on the fast rotate gets a face full of back. QK Mantis taken down. And Na'Vi just running riot at the moment. It is going to be 11-4 at half time. And Na'Vi really impressive here. I was like you. I felt that this event might be the baptism of fire, like we saw with ESC Gaming, where they yeah. when they first moved over and they struggled. Like we've seen with the Fnatic players who've come over and and struggled. Uh, Na'Vi looks like all that work's paying off. Maybe they did make the right decision with like just staying home in practice for uh, a few months instead of going for an um, event right away. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it may, may be. I mean, I, but I agree with you. I think there's some things that happen at tournaments you can't replicate exactly. uh, in, in, uh, at home. Delays, for example. Uh, you, you can't replicate whether you can maintain that focus or not. So it's, uh, it's, it's definitely something to consider whether they've actually somehow bossed it. Got a bit of sidewaysy headshot action. I haven't seen that bug for a while there on uh, QK Mantis. Always nice. That's one. That's one left over from the Source engine. <laughs> Looks kind of funny, actually. Yeah, it does. It does. Uh, for a minute, I thought it was me. I thought I was stroking out <laughs> on like on stream. I was about to go. Have we got a first aider? Have we got a first aider in the house? But no, we haven't. And if we did, no one would come to my assistance anyway. But uh, uh, very slow pistol round. And there's there's two guys inside. Oh so yes, um, an overlay. They're just going for a five-man inner push from Navi. I think they're actually going, they're going to take the QK man. Yeah, auto director is thinking Disruptor's about to get some action, but he's not. Again, I, I just love it. Like uh, Zeus has gone for that. Oh, he's just looked so good, man. Look oh. at that. Absolutely sick. He's just pulled off two ridiculous long-range Glock headshots, gets a three-man, and they pretty much single-handedly won the round. And he's definitely going to be my MVP, uh, no matter how this match goes. Because individually, he's just looked head and shoulders pretty much above everyone else. I mean, like, Markolov has got that opportunity to impress with the AWP. Zeus has had defended inner alone. He's pretty much killed, like, two guys every time he's, he's seen more than, you know, two or more guys. Like, so. Yeah, absolutely. And it's funny that, that he plays, like, <laughs> exactly the same way in the inner bombs as he did in 1.6. And it's, it's still working. Well, yeah, it's, it's, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, man. He's looked absolutely top-notch. And... Uh, 12 to 4 now. N Faculty perhaps set to get embarrassed here. They're going to have to really change this up. UK Mantis has still got the sidewaysy headshot bug, so uh, going to watch him get taken down by Selnia. He's just going to push aggressively. You see Navi is swarming all over to save bombsite. Disruptor with a good little headshot. Kirby's going to get one as well, and you can see that uh, Selnia's going to get another kill. Edward's going to answer back immediately, so it's a 3v2 situation. Asmo trying to go for the wraparound. Edward is wise to that game. And uh, you can see that Markov is just going to push him aggressive. He doesn't even care that his gun's not even fully reloaded. He's just running at him. An SMN. Which sounds like it might be a vulgar acronym. 
But it isn't, it's just his name. Definitely doesn't involve nipples. Um, he's just going to, I think he's just going to chill out and spawn, why yeah, not? Save the P250 or just trying to pick it. They are pretty good these days. A wise man told me that, a wise 1.6 told me that at the start of the day. That's yeah, they're it. extremely good actually. I feel like if you're not going for the op after two rounds, you basically should buy them every <laughs> eco. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Well, there we go. So it's going to be an easy plan. SMN, I don't know if he's trying some protracted form of ninja defuse, the likes of which has never been attempted before. But Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. I, I, yeah, think, he's I think he knows that they only have SMGs as well. So uh, He's got one HP left now, so he needs to make a decision. It's better to die in the situation, which he certainly does. Yeah, the terrorists do get more money if the bomb goes off, so... Yeah. Uh, so uh, he did the right thing, but it's 13 to 4. We'll have a quick look at the frag charts again. Now there's going to be much to write home about. Kirby way out in front now for M Faculty. 13 kills, 15 deaths. And Edward is uh, going to have uh, 13 for 7. But you can see the distribution of frags on Na'Vi is a lot better. And uh, we'll be bringing you some analysis from our analysis team who's been scribbling away furiously in the notepads. Great shot from Markle. Yeah, right and there. again, just... Oh, Markle, just I'm coming to expect it now. He's, he really seems to have got hold of CSGO in a way few AWPers have. So, very impressed. Selny, a great little reaction shot there just to pick it up. And then faculty are not going to take another round this game. It, this is done, absolutely. Uh, UK Mantis is trying to play for some pride here, but in the end, Starrix is going to get that last frag. It's 14 for 4. This is going to be 16 for 4. And it's such a shame that a match that people waited so long for all of those <laughs> delays a match that started out pretty even stevens pretty exciting this was deemed that it was going to be the big one this has been one of the more one-sided games we've actually cast today yeah for sure and maybe the, even the most one-sided one and mm. uh, this kind of makes you wonder how far can navi really go i mean they're playing great and faculty is a great team but uh, how will navi do if they play like versus esc very games or even nip i got to be honest, it's going to be very interesting to see them go up with ESC Gaming. I really don't know how that's going to go. Uh, you would think ESC Gaming are going to edge it. But ultimately, I mean, I, it's they, Na'Vi have just looked so good, i got to say. It. We watched them in two games back to back. And maybe it's just something they've got down on train. But, you know, N Faculty are not a bad team. They are far from a bad team. And they are getting clowned. There's absolutely no other way to describe yeah, it. It kind of looks like when, uh, like, NIP played them on in EDSWC. Yeah, yeah. It's just that big of a steamroll. Like, yeah. it, it, N Faculty has absolutely nothing. To and I, I remember when Na'Vi announced that they were coming into CS:GO. There was a lot of 1.6 fanboys saying that Na'Vi were going to be the team to dethrone Nip. That they had everything in place to do that. I don't know if that's true, but. Uh, and I, I think it's a bold prediction, but on this evidence, it's not as crazy as it was at the start of the day, put it that way. Uh, Markov picking up another good op shot. In fact, he's going to have to go aggressive. Markov's going to get another kill. There's uh, uh, Molotov gone down, and there's Asmo. Uh, I think that was, uh, was that an op kill? Yeah, it was. And uh, Selnia's going to mop it up, get the last one. That's going to be match point 15 for four. As I said, guys, this one's done. It's in the books. It's going to be 16 for four. And N Faculty are running away with their tails between their legs. You can even see the kind of mixed buy that's coming in now. We've got a Mag 9, we've got a Famas. Two Mag 9s and a pistol, so no buy at all for Disruptor. I think they just want to get get away, get off this server, yeah. and get their heads together and start talking about, okay, we lost that one. We've still got, you know, uh, lots to do. We're still in this tournament. But exactly, uh, especially in the way this tournament is structured, like two group plays on the playoff after that, so they're, they're far from out. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's no doubt about that, that you c uh, the teams that we're seeing losing and the teams that we're seeing to, uh, to struggle uh, are still still very much in this tournament, no matter what happens. Uh, but I'll tell you what, Na'Vi have really humbled uh, N Faculty here. You can see as well the well played coming in. I mean, N Faculty just uh, no faith in SMN making this clutch, which again would be absolutely ridiculous if he was to do it. It's a 1v3 situation at this point. Markolov is down for Na'Vi. And in the end, Zeus is going to get the last frag. Perhaps fitting, given the game he had. My MVP, without a shadow of doubt. And that's going to be the game over. 16 rounds to four. An absolute mauling for the Germans at the hands of Na'Vi. And uh, again, I'll, I'll, I will just ask you the question uh, again. I mean, you've talked about what's going to happen.